Good morning guys and welcome to another Wednesday weekly vlogs. So today I am looking after the animals as usual so I'm just about to go poo pick but I've got all of my like old scruffy stuff on because we're going to be doing some painting later. It is now time that the horses are living out and um, finally now that the weather has become nice again and we're not dealing with constant rain and having to bring them in the stables so that means it's time to start spring cleaning. Um, and doing a few other bits and bobs and I will also be riding quite a bit this weekend so I will bring you along for that as well but yeah so let's go head down to the fields obviously the horses are living out so we have to poo pick them daily so that is the first job on my list today So as well as poo picking the horses, I also poo picked the pigs and went and fed the goats. So once all the animals morning routines had been done and everyone was ready for the day I then started painting inside the stables so as I mentioned I've got a lot of spring cleaning and makeover videos on the way so I won't like put too much into this vlog um, but I did spend a good few hours just painting the stables because as you can see they're on desperate need of a makeover so all will be revealed in an upcoming video anyway. So after a few hours of painting the stables, I then headed down to the livery yard to go and see Smokey and today I'm going to be bringing him in and doing some flat work. So I headed down to his field and he's now living out so he's super happy about that but that means it's a bit difficult to catch him so I went and grabbed his head collar and some treats to bribe him to come over to me. So for anyone who is wondering what's going on with Smokey's head colour, he's actually got a control head colour I can't talk, a control head colour on because we had a few incidents of him being quite strong in hand um, recently. At the minute he's just come out and started grazing while I lock the fence up. Come on then, let's go. It's actually too dirty. Come on. Let's go. Why is the first thing you do when I fetch you in is to have a poo and look stressed? You look like a little angel in the sunlight. You're not there, are you? No. Right, so I fetched him in. He's not actually too dirty. I did bath him the other day, um, but he's been out without a rug on. So 
for a day or two. So you're not actually that bad. You're a bit dirty, but as far as you normally go, you're not bad. So I'm gonna give it, pick his feet out now, give him a groom, tack up, and we're gonna do a bit of flat work, aren't we? Yeah, and then hopefully cross country tomorrow. So in the last few weeks, Smokey has been really spooky in the smaller arena. Now I'm not too sure why this is, but I did find on the previous livery yard that we were at that once he kind of got his feet under the table sort of thing, he could act out in certain places. Now the small arena isn't very spooky, but there are a lot of jumps and things at the very end of it that he likes to react to. So I've tried various things, I've tried working through it, I've tried you know like ignoring him, I've tried kind of telling him off when he spooks and the best way I've found to actually get him over spooking and to get him not that bothered is to take him down and walk him in hand before I ride him just to reassure him that all of the scary things aren't that scary because I do know he is just overreacting and also this gives me a bit of confidence that actually he's walked down there he's absolutely fine with them so if he does spook he's just being silly and that I should just ride him through it so once I've shown him around and reassured him that everything's fine and there are no monsters lurking just over the fence it's time to jump on board and adjust our girth so today I'm doing some flat work with Smokey because he is in desperate need of some really good schooling. He's had the last couple of weeks sort of on and off work because I was away for my birthday and then I had a load of like work to do when I got back. So he's not been in consistent work recently. So this week I am giving myself a kick up the bum and making sure that I get him worked as much as I can. I also really want to start focusing on his jumping. Um, I'm hoping to get him out to a few clinics and possibly even, you know, start competing with him soon, which would be amazing. But for now and for today, we are going to be focusing on our flat work because this is where Smokey really struggles. He really does not enjoy flat work. Even if I put one single jump up in the arena and ride around it, he goes so much better. And that's because he thinks he's jumping. Um, so he just is much better. He listens to you a lot more. But obviously, he needs to learn that flat work is also, you know, just as good and that he needs to pay attention doing that as well. So obviously, I just warmed him up and then today we're working on his bend because at the minute on his left rein he's really struggling with that left shoulder bend he's been really stiff so I like to loosen him up and get him going Like a 
tonight Yeah, all right, do it again You should have seen it come You acted numb, don't deny You are like a moth to the flame finished and I've just unpacked and someone is very dirty because he's got sweaty and then all the dirt's lifted out of his coat so I'm just gonna give him a little wash down then I'm just gonna put some of the aloe soothe on him So Smokey is super good to wash off or to bath. The only thing he doesn't like is having his face done. And as you can see from this, he's like, oh, what are you doing, mum? Because he knows exactly what's coming. And he's just like, eh, nope, get off. But to be fair, he literally puts up a fight for like 30 seconds. And then he just stands there like a good boy. And he puts a little bit of a protest up, but he does let me do it. He just really doesn't like his head being washed. And to be fair, I don't blame him. But then he was all nice and clean, obviously I didn't give him a full bath, I just rinsed him off where his saddle and everything had been. So then it was time to go and pop him back in the field so he can enjoy the rest of his day eating grass. So on Tuesday I didn't actually film anything really, which I explain in a little bit but basically these are just a few clips of my day it was absolutely glorious weather i had a meet and greet at bransby horses so i didn't really see my horse as much so i saw um the six horses at my mum's in the afternoon and i spent a little bit of time at home just enjoying the sunshine trying to give Tallulah a strawberry but she really wasn't interested and don't worry the paddling pool isn't for her it's for ted <laughs> And speaking of Ted, he also got a strawberry and being the little gannet he is, he will eat anything, unlike the rabbit. And then later that evening, I went down to see Smokey, so I didn't ride him on Tuesday because I'd had such a busy day. So I went and sat in the field and spent some time with him, just literally just sitting there in the sunshine with him. He's a horse that really likes a lot of attention, so it's actually really nice just to spend some time doing nothing with him. He had a graze, and then he had a little bit of a chew on my shoe. Hi! Naughty pony.
So whilst I was down there, I did also poo pick and just change his hay net, but that's all that I have to do now that he's living out. Good morning guys. So today is actually Wednesday because yesterday I didn't film. I actually had a meet and greet at Bransby Horses yesterday, um, which I put all over my Instagram and my TikTok and things like that. So if you're not following me on there, be sure to, otherwise you'll miss events like that. Um, but yeah, basically I went to Bransby yesterday, had a fantastic day meeting so many of you. So thank you to everyone that came and said hi. Um, but I didn't get a chance to film just because I was so busy. Um, and didn't take anyone with me to like give me a hand with filming or anything like that. But it is Wednesday today. So today I am going to go and see Smokey first off because it's been really warm this week. And I want to be able to ride him um, before it gets too warm. So that is my plan for this morning. And then we're heading over to the farm um, to do some more bits and bobs there and see the other horses. So as always, I'll bring you for the journey. So today I was going to go into the cross country course on the livery yard but I actually changed my mind and decided that I would have a go at jumping Smokey in the grass jumping paddock. Now I'm really lucky that our livery yard has so many facilities and this is actually the first time Smokey has ever been in the jumping paddock and I've not jumped him on grass since September I think it was um, and I had completely forgotten how amazing he is on grass. Um, there's just something about him not being in an arena and being on grass that he just seems to like perk up a bit. I don't know, he absolutely loves it. So anyway, I started by walking him around because there's lots going on in the jumping arena. There's poles on the floor, there's black bags um, holding down things. And I was expecting him to like spook at things because he can be a bit spooky. But he literally did not put one spook in the entire ride. So I was so proud of him and he was honestly so good to jump. We are having some jumping lessons coming up because I really need to get used to jumping him. Like he can jump, I'm just kind of holding him back at the minute and we're not yet together and not coordinated enough. But anyway, these are our jumps from today. You better turn up. You better be there when I shake. Watch me rocking if I can't stop. If I should fall, just go ahead. Go and catch me, baby. Smokey being the best boy today. You can have some, oh my goodness, don't take my hand off. You can have some treats. Good boy. You can see my um, tan line where I had my watch on. Good boy. I've bathed him down, but then on the walk down to the field, because it's all sand here, 
he's already managed to get rather dirty but I don't mind because it's been very very good and now I'm putting your hand it on oh, it is boiling don't roll in the dirty bit he likes to roll right in the like dusty sections instead of on the grass I'm gonna do this it's very hard one handed to milk you know, mate, you're a good boy today. I'm very proud of you. Yes. So I literally had to stand in the corner of the field shooing Smokey onto the grass section instead of the sand because he really wanted to get down in all the dirt and roll in there but obviously that means one very dirty pony for me. So he did go and roll on the grass like a very good boy. I don't mind him rolling on the grass and getting a little bit dirty over there but it's when he does it in literally the like black sand that yeah, that's not okay because that means he then got to be bathed. But he was such a good boy today. I was so, so proud of him. I know we've got a lot to work on, but he's still very young and our partnership is still growing. But honestly, he just made me smile so much today. So once I finished at the livery yard, I then went round to my parents' farm and today I am cleaning out the trailer that really, really needs doing. Trunk was very intrigued. I think he thought I had a giant snake instead of a hose pipe. So, I've cleaned the trailer, which you may have seen in my latest video because that'll be up before this video goes up. Um, if not, I'll put the link in the description box below. So that's all clean and lovely now, which is fantastic. What is not fantastic is that in... Like, whilst doing all that, I managed to break my tripod. So this bit, which is meant to be on the top here, snapped off. So that's really, really annoying, because um, I needed that. So I'm going to have to order another one, probably off Amazon, so I can get it super quick. And the annoying bit about spring cleaning and everything like that is that I now have to... I'm trying to find the sun. Ah, is that I now have to put everything away Wait, it's there i can't even see in this camera um at the minute because of the sun but yeah so that's annoying but i'm really glad that i've got this done it's a job i've been meaning to do for ages and we've got so much like spring cleaning tidying makeover videos coming soon i'm so excited because i know you guys love them um but yeah so that is what i've been up to now so i'm going to put everything away um and i don't even know what time it is i think it's like two o'clock so I'll probably rag work once I've got changed because I got absolutely soaked doing that and I now have like bits of hay and horse poo and things stuck to me so lovely just another day being an equestrian so I headed down to the field with my barrow and my rag work fork and Chunk had to inspect the barrow obviously because there was literally the most minutest bit of hay in there okay. that he decided he had to eat, he couldn't let it go to waste being the little fatty that he is. So I got cracking and getting the ragwort out. Now for those of you that don't know what ragwort is, it's basically a poisonous plant um, that if left and the horses eat causes liver damage so the toxic is very toxic and the effects build up over time so it's really really important to get it out and to get it all out including the root. So at this time of year ragwort is literally growing so fast so out of two fields, this is actually the amount I got out, which is ridiculous. And we always remove it really regularly as well. Hi guys, and welcome to Thursday. I don't even know where this week is going. It's going so quickly. But anyway, as you can tell from the backdrop, I am at my parents' farm today and I'm doing a bit of spring cleaning in the stables. So I've just started cleaning out Chili's stable which we'll see in an upcoming video um, but I won't include too much of it in this because he I don't want to see it twice uh, so yeah all the spring cleaning I'll try and keep in videos which makes it difficult for me to vlog because obviously I can't vlog what I'm doing if I'm putting it in a different video but anyway I'll show you some snippets from throughout the day so I'll be doing Chili's stable and then working I think I'm gonna work caramel later um, at least that's my plan in my head I've got little Ted here with me He's just there 
I'm just about to take him for a walk around the field because he's been sat very good in the stables um, for a little while now. So I'm going to take him a walk and then we will crack on. So Teddy's always fascinated by the horses and he likes to stand and see if any of them will come and say hello to him. Normally the horses kind of just watch him and see what he's up to and just look from afar but he does have one friend. So every time we go past Danny always comes to say hi. He always adds with all of the dogs that we've had but he particularly likes Ted I think because he's quite quiet and quite like doesn't jump up that much he like always comes to say hello and see what he's up to um but they've got such a cute little friendship and ted literally always goes up to danny he doesn't do this with any of the other horses it's only danny that he goes to say hi to <laughs> she's not like lulu that one a bit scary looking because it's this side of the fence. Yeah. Later in the afternoon I noticed that Danny and Taffy were both laid down so I went to go say hi. Danny got straight up but Taff did let me go and sit with him. Now this is one of my favourite things about summer is that the horses are so chilled and relaxed in the field and I love just going and spending time just sat in the field with them whether they're just grazing or whether they're laid down like Taffy was. So it was really nice just to spend some quality time with my old man um, and just see how he's getting on and I just literally sit there have a chat with him and we, I gave him a really good scratch so he really enjoyed that but it's just nice to spend quality time with the horses without actually asking anything of them. So after having a clear out in the tack room, I've decided to sell a few things that I'm no longer going to use on heyhorsey.co.uk. For those of you that don't know what that is, Hey Horsey is basically a new platform where you can safely sell or buy all equestrian gear. It's a really great way of recycling pre-loved items for extra money or even grabbing a bargain. There are used and some new things on the website, so have a bit of a look. So these are the items that I've listed so far. All of the links to the website and to my items will be in the description of this video. Also, if you do create an account and list an item for sale before the 15th of June, you will automatically be entered into a draw to win a pair of AirPods as well. So go check out the website. Good morning guys, so today is Friday and today I've got the entire farm to look after so I've got all the animals to do, I've got all of the horses to poop it, got everything to do for the day. Um, so I'm here bright and early, ready to get going. My first job is going to poop pick, but you saw that early in the week so I won't bore you with too much poo picking. Um, and then I've got all the hay nets to do. <laughs> Baltus making noises. Can you see him? It's over there. What are you grumbling at? It's like the first thing you've got to do is walk me. We'll go walk you soon. <laughs> Honestly, I can't film that being interrupted by some animal. But yeah, anyway, so I am going to head out and start cracking. It's a really beautiful sunny day again today. Um, so that's fantastic. Although I think this weekend might turn a little bit rainy. Um, we shall see. But yeah, let's get going. So as I said today is a super sunny super hot day which is fantastic for the horses but not so fantastic for Poop King and Taffy was again making the most of the rays and having a nice lie down. So once I'd poop picked it was then on to the hay nets so the horses still get hay three times a day although Danny and Taffy don't now they don't have their lunchtime nets. And once I'd done all the hay nets, it was then time to water the pigs. So for anyone who doesn't know, pigs basically can't sweat. So the way they protect themselves in the hot weather is they bathe in mud to keep themselves cool. This also acts as a natural sunscreen for them. This is why I'm going and watering down the pigs. So firstly, I water them down with the hose pipe, making sure that it's nice and cold. Um, firstly, that's just to cool them down. 
and then as you see while I'm doing this Prim is bringing the mud into her little pit and then she will have a really good wallow and cover herself in that mud to act as that sunscreen because pigs actually get really easily burned quite quickly so it's really important to do this on really warm days like today and Pickle also has a little mud wallow now Pickle will tend to go in the shade more and he's not too fond of actually being wet so he did try and eat the hose pipe that I was contemplating leaving in there but you literally cannot leave anything around the pigs because they will just eat it and I did eventually convince him to have a little shower as well so once the piggies are all done and they're all nice and cooled off it is then on to check the goats now the goats absolutely love this weather because our breed of goats are boa goats and they actually originate from South Africa so obviously they're used to the sort of nice warm temperatures. You'll find them absolutely hiding away from any rain or cold but on days like today when it's really nice and warm and sunny they'll be out basking in the sun. So they were all just chilling, a couple of them were on the platforms so Dolly was on the table and then Daffodil was on the other platform that we had built for them. So I just came to say hi and see how they were getting on. Ball. No. So it's a bit later on in the day now and I'm just heading down to give the horses their lunchtime hay nets and to give Chili his feed and inhalers. So as I mentioned not all the horses get a lunchtime hay net because Danny and Taffy don't tend to eat that much hay. They um, prefer the grass and unlike my other fatties they haven't eaten all their grass down yet. So Taffy and Dan don't need one but the others still get a hay net. And because of Chili's allergies, he also has to have his inhaler and he has a feed with pyrotonin. Now, during lunchtime, he doesn't have that many puffs of inha his inhaler. He just tends to have one in each nostril. And he's now really good at taking yeah. this and he does it pretty quickly as well yeah. now. So this afternoon I've decided that I'm going to lunge and work Miss Caramel and that's because she is looking very porky at the moment. Why are you trotting? Why can't we just walk like a normal pony? It's like taking my dog for a walk, you pull. Alright, I'm going to have to tie you up stupidly short so you don't go for grass. Well, you shouldn't be naughty then, should you? No. So I brought her up to the stables and just tied her up and gave her a groom so that she's looking nice and clean. And it just gives her a little bit of TLC and it's a great opportunity to check her over after she's been in the field for a few days. Go on. Now as I mentioned Caramel is looking a little bit on the porky side so this is my fat club training for her so I'm going to be lunging her most days of the week just to try and get a bit of that excess weight off. She is in a very small paddock with limited grazing and she's on the um, like low sugar hay high fibre so she shouldn't be the weight she is but she's Welsh and traditionals just pack on weight without even trying um, so she really does need to shift some of that blubber.
Oh, it's very bright, right. There you go. I mean, we were going to start with walk, but okay. Caramel and whoa. Little barrel on legs. that has been the weekly vlog i hope you've enjoyed it if you have don't forget to like subscribe and turn on that bell icon so you get a notification every single time i post thank you so much and i'll see you all on friday for my next video bye guys